Helvonard Jelinski reaction. In short, H V Z reaction. Hell, German chemist von Hell, Volhard, German chemist Jakob Volhard and Jelinski, Russian chemist Nikolai Jelinski. Hell, Volhard, Jelinski is taken from three names of scientists, chemists, two German chemists, von Hell and Jakob Volhard and Russian chemist Nikolai Jelinski. Today's lesson, Hell Bollard Jelinski reaction. In this lesson, we are going to learn definition of HVZ reaction. Then we will see HVZ reactions. And then importance of HVZ reaction. And finally, something about methanoic acid or formic acid so let us begin the very first point is definition of hvz reaction let us see let us consider a carboxylic acid like this one Propanoic acid, a kind of carboxylic acid. Here, this carbon is linked up with functional group carbon. So, the carbon linked up with functional group carbon is known as alpha carbon, and hydrogen atoms linked up with alpha carbon are called alpha hydrogen atoms so this carbon is alpha carbon because this is linked up with functional group carbon and the hydrogen atoms linked up with alpha carbon are called alpha hydrogen atoms when alpha hydrogen atoms are replaced by halogen atoms then we get this compound halogen for example chlorine bromine like this so if this hydrogen atom is replaced by halogen then we get this compound which is called alpha halo carboxylic acid Again, when another hydrogen atom is replaced by a halogen like chlorine, bromine, then we get this compound. Here chlorine, here chlorine. This is also alpha halocarboxylic acid. This is alpha alpha dichloropropanoic acid this one is alpha chloropropanoic acid definition of hvz reaction is the reaction by which alpha hydrogen atoms are replaced by halogen atoms to form alpha halocarboxylic acid is known as hvz reaction or hell volard jelinski reaction this is called hell volard jelinski reaction after german chemists von hell and jakob volard and russian chemist nikolai jelinski so the reaction by which alpha halo carboxylic acid is prepared is called hell volard jelinski reaction now let's see hell volard jelinski reactions now the point is HVZ reactions, that is hell volard jelinski reactions. Let us consider a carboxylic acid 
ethanoic acid here there are three alpha hydrogen atoms when through this ethanoic acid the boiling ethanoic acid chlorine gas is passed in presence of catalyst red phosphorus then initially one alpha hydrogen atom is replaced by chlorine atom then this compound is formed chloroethanoic acid this reaction continues until all the alpha hydrogen atoms are replaced by chlorine atoms secondly we get this compound ch ch2 another hydrogen atom alpha hydrogen atom is replaced by chlorine atom then this is obtained that is 2 chloro ethanoic acid the reaction continues that is chlorine gas red phosphorus that means when excess chlorine gas is passed through boiling ethanoic acid then reaction continues and finally this is obtained trichloroethanoic acid here alpha hydrogen atoms are replaced by chlorine atoms one by one in presence of catalyst red phosphorus the reaction discovered by hell volhard and jeleniske let us see another reaction a carboxylic acid this one now this is propanoic acid when propanoic acid is treated with bromine in presence of catalyst red phosphorus then initially one alpha hydrogen atom is replaced by bromine then this is obtained here bromine here hydrogen and carboxyl group that is bromo propanoic acid the reaction continues bromine in presence of red phosphorus another alpha hydrogen is replaced by bromine then this is obtained here bromine bromine carboxyl group that is alpha alpha dibromo propanoic acid then bromine red phosphorus in this compound no more alpha hydrogen atoms that is why no reaction occurs so the reaction in which alpha hydrogen atoms undergo replacement by halogen atoms then the reaction is called hell volhard jeleniski reaction now let us see importance of hell volhard jeleniski reaction now the point is importance of hell volhard jeleniski reactions let us consider a product of hell volhard jeleniski reaction that is alpha bromo propanoic acid when alpha bromo propanoic acid is treated with sodium hydroxide solution that is in presence of nucleophile then this bromine is replaced by nucleophile to form this compound oh here h c double oh which is known as lactic acid that is from the product of hell volhard jeleniski reaction we can prepare lactic acid again when hell volhard jeleniski product is treated with ammonia then this is obtained nh2 h c double oh which is alanine that is 
alanine is produced from helvolate jeleniski product lactic acid can be produced from helvolate jeleniski product again when helvolate jeleniski product that is alpha bromo propanoic acid is treated with sodium cyanide then this is obtained alpha cyano propanoic acid when this product is hydrolyzed in presence of acid then cyano group converts to acid group carboxyl acid group then this is obtained which is known as 2 methyl 1 2 3 so this is 2 methyl malonic acid from hvz product from the product produced from helvolate jeleniski reaction we can prepare lactic acid alanine 2 methyl malonic acid this is the importance of helvolate jeleniski reaction that is from the helvolate jeleniski product we can produce many new products let us move on to the next point a kind of carboxylic acid that is methanoic acid or formic acid here no alpha carbon because no carbon which is linked up with functional group carbon so in methanoic acid no alpha carbon so no alpha hydrogen that is no alpha hydrogen no replacement of alpha hydrogen by a halogen atom that is why methanoic acid doesn't undergo helvolate jeleniski reaction because of the absence of alpha hydrogen atom this is all about helvolate jeleniski reaction no more today thank you very much